How much fast food could you get for a dollar? Back in the day. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Mm, today hey, we're listen, talking. Hey, if I don't dance for you, you don't inflation. do inflation. Don't put a dollar down my shirt unless I dance for you. <laughs> oh, see, that's a dance, kind of a wiggle. Uh, today we're talking inflation. In 2022 alone, the price of basic grocery items increased 12 percent. What? And have you noticed what's happened in fast food prices? Mm. Even more, 13 percent price increase. Yeah. Yes. And that makes you wonder how today's fast food prices compare to prices from 10, 20, 30, even 40 years ago. Mm. I bet the difference is crazy. Well, I bet it would make a great new game. It's time for Inflation Tasting. Welcome to the Inflation Tasting Station Zone. Yeah, we got a big freaking scale over here. Woo, finally, we got a scale. Stevie, you want us to sit on it? Um, I would actually like if you could, as I'm telling you how this game works, if you could just interpretive dance each step. I do think that would be helpful for your own Are you understanding. Put a and dollar in my shirt? Yes. Afterwards, I will put a dollar in your shirt. Okay. All right. Okay. Here's how this game works. Each round, you will be presented with a specific year, a fast food menu item, and a dollar amount. You'll work together to guess how many of those fast food menu items you could buy in that year for that amount and make your guess by placing the corresponding amount of items onto the inflation station scale. If the scale settles in an even position, that means you nailed it and you win three points. If not... That means you're wrong. You'll have up to three guesses per round and points decrease with each guess. If you do not walk away with at least seven points, you'll lose and must blow up a large inflatable burger in Good Mythical More. Wow, I think we need to do every How It Works just like that. <laughs> well, the problem is I didn't hear a word you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, guys, before we begin, do you remember, you were dancing really hard, but do you remember how I said you'll have up to three guesses per yes. round? Yes. Yeah, I think I went. <laughs> okay, that's because you're guaranteed two guesses in each round, but you must Good. earn your third guess by correctly answering a trivia question about huh. the year in question. Okay, which you is? You ready? Yeah. So the, the year is 1973. Well, currently it's 2023. But Good. the year for this round is 1973. Okay. Richard Nixon was president of the United States. True. Nixon especially loved two different foods. Cottage cheese was one. Me too. What was the other? A, bologna sandwich. B, shrimp cocktail. Or C, meatloaf. Okay. I immediately thought we shrimp did the, cocktail. We did this on the show. I remember this. And the only thing I remember from that episode that was even on the board was shrimp, shrimp cocktail. cocktail. Uh, shrimp cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. Is that your official answer? Yes. yes. That is incorrect. Dang it. <laughs> Guys, anytime I ask you if it's your official answer, I don't know if you've caught on at this point. So, but. I would guess meatloaf now, but it's too late. Yeah, it's meatloaf, but you only have two guesses this round. It's okay. It's okay, dude. We, hey, we were on the same page. It was just the wrong one. Well, to make you feel better, I would now like to introduce Bailiff Chase. Oh, I feel better. <laughs> oh. Hey, all right. So. Well, done. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Chase is going to add the weighted price box to the scale at the same time you add your food items. This will make sense. This is going to be fun. Um, so you can, can go I? ahead. Yep. Reveal your doof. In 2023, Ooh. a McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese cost $5.99. Good gully. But back in 1973, how many quarter pounders with cheese could you get for $15? So it's... It costs six dollars for a quarter pounder, and that's not even the combo. Man. Dang, son. Okay, let, 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 you know, you're horrible with numbers. We already know this. Um, well, I'm and, not going to just let you carry me. So, but hold, hold on. So, I think we need to. I'm going to help establish a reference, and then you tell me how it feels, okay? Because when we were kids, you could get a cheeseburger at McDonald's for less than a dollar. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. I think for like eighty nine cents or something like that. Yeah. Now, this is a quarter pounder. It's and more it's even earlier. And it's a, a full 10 years earlier than the memories that I'm having right now. So, like, now. 89 cent for a quarter pounder. 
It's definitely at least 15. Right. So let's But well, hold on before we start second. How many let's, more let's is start. it? How many more than 15 is it? Well, because let's just put 15 and then we can feel it. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. Are you it. doing it or are we doing it? No, that's a lot of places. Okay. okay. A one. A two. A three. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. And then if we put that one there, it's it's prettier. But we're gonna add more. Let's just add one more. Hold on, hold on. But that's and just, let's make it like hold on. But that's ninety your, cents. But, but what do you? Yeah, you, you got to think about what you're guessing. I think that the answer is probably. I think they were probably they were probably eighty cents. So I think we should add three. So Chase puts that on okay. at the same time okay. that you put that on there. Okay. Yes. 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 What is? It? I'm telling you, it's heavy. Oh, yours is heavy. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't seem to be struggling. Well, how am I gonna? Here, I'm gonna hold it steady for you. This is the front. So, oh, so, all right, here we go. You've got room on the back. No, no, it, it looks good. All right, here we go. I'm hovering and then I'm gonna, okay. Three, hold on, two, uh, 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 it's fine. It's hurry, fine. you just have a box. Hold on, the, it's, it's locked. The scale, you don't have to let go. The scale's gonna unlock at the same time. Three, two, one. Okay, so we didn't go. So it's they're even. Okay, this Dude, is not surprising. This is not surprising. Crap! Me. Oh, this, man, this kind of math is hard without a phone. <laughs> Let's just go by feel, you know. That, but see that I that, could tell how fast it went down, and I think we need to put two, four, six, eight more burgers on there. Yeah, but what is the math on that? Well, that's your job. I'm the feel guy. <laughs> so it, it eight more burgers, eighteen plus uh, that would be twenty six burgers. So that's, I mean, that's, it's about, I think that's probably about right, based on right. 60. Five, four, three, two, one. No, that's too much. Okay, we should have done six more instead of eight more. But now we don't get another guess. So it must just, have been 75 cents Just to each. prove it. <laughs> So the answer was 21 because in 1973, quarter pounders with cheese cost just 70 cents. Dang. We went from 80 to 60 instead of just going from 80 to 70. And look at that beautiful menu. Who wow. needs a screen when you got that? I'll tell you, one thing we learned is that you can actually have a pretty good guess and still be wrong. We got to get that trivia question right because we need that third <laughs> yeah, guess yeah, badly. All right, let's try another trivia question, shall we? Ready. Okay. Which Beatles album was released in 1967? A, A Hard Day's Night, B, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, or no. C, Abbey Road? Okay, 67? Link, we're relying on you. Well, hold on. 67. I was going to say Abbey Road. Is this before they kind of went to India and everything changed? Um, or is it right around the same time? It's got to be Sergeant Puppers. Okay, I'm trusting you on this. I think it might be early, but that's the middle one of the three. Sergeant Peppers. That's correct. Yeah! Look at that! Okay, good. Okay, you may reveal your items. Today, KFC's large meal bucket with 16 pieces of chicken, four sides, and eight biscuits goes for $49.99. What? $50! But 1967, KFC had the bucket, which had 15 pieces of chicken, uh -oh, that's gonna throw six us off. hot rolls, and a pint of gravy. A How pint of gravy? How many orders of the bucket could you get for $55? $55. $55. This is this is a lot harder than the, the burger thing. Okay, Link, I believe that what we can we can do <laughs> is we can use what we learned from the last round to think about how inflation impacted the McDonald's prices mm -hmm. going back to 1973, and now we're in 1967. Seven. Mm -hmm. 67. Okay, so we went from six dollars all the way down to 70, 70 cents. cents. So it's almost like you know like a 90 percent reduction, right? Down to 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 that, and then we're gonna go another ten years. So if a seven dollar thing, be, so like a seven dollar, six dollar thing became a seven dollar thing, a seven seventy cents thing, maybe it would be like a sixty cent thing. So it would be like taking a tenth of the price. So if we then we basically would say if it was fifty dollars, let's just say it's basically it's the same thing. The pint of gravy, we don't know fifteen. We would go from. 
$50 to $5. So we're gonna say that these are about $5 a piece. And then we gotta do 55 of them, we're gonna do 11 of them. It's that simple. That's exactly what I was thinking. One, nine, 10, 11. And I just smushed all the chicken. Oh, what's that, Chase? You thought we were gonna need a calculator? <laughs> Order in my court. That was rude. I was trying to help you. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> don't, don't shoot the sheriff. I, don't shoot the sheriff. <laughs> go that way, go that way. <laughs> okay. Oh, give me a warning. Good. Damn, go around oh, like and don't this. be alarmed. The reason there's no chicken in these is because there's weights inside of them. Don't tell anybody, but there's okay. weights. All right, I'm ready, Chase. Three. Bailiff Chase. Two. Bailiff Chase. One. Oh! Whoa! whoa, whoa not whoa. enough, dude. Okay. Cheaper than five dollars. Okay, so if it was four dollars, there we would need to add one more, right? Yeah. Okay, bring it back over here. It it, it, it drops pretty fast. So. Yeah, dude. I think I might need this calculator. <laughs> You're Chase. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what if we go all the way? What if it was 14? What if they were like $3.90? And actually, I'm doing this backwards because I should take the original number. I went to engineering school. 55 <laughs> divided by $3.90 equals 14.1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 1, you got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So what's the dollar amount per bucket? Like three, yeah. 389. 389. That's it. That feels great, right? Yeah. Sergeant Peppers, man. Feels great. And then Bailiff Chase. <sighs> All right, here we go. This under here, and then I'm gonna push it, and then I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna pick it up, and I'm gonna hold it, and then I'm gonna go three, two, one. Is that, is that it? That's yeah! it. Yeah, you got the 14 was the answer, but the bucket cost 375 in 1967. 375 compared to like 50 bucks now. Man, you could get so much chicken back then. You'd just be and sweet chicken rolls. for days. And were the rolls sweet? Or and a just rolls? pint of gravy. What did you put it on? The chicken? Because all, they didn't have taters. We want to remind you to go to Spork.com. We help you save some money over there when you go to the grocery store. Ooh. We got some tips for you. Articles from Jordan on hacks for saving cash at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, and a roundup of the best great value foods at Walmart. Spork.com. Yes! Okay. We all know Neil Armstrong's first words when he walked on the moon in 1969. I'm first! <laughs> <laughs> ha! Suckers! That was it. Yes. What was the second thing he said? Oh. A. I wish all you back home could see what I see. B. I sure hope my mama is watching this. Or C, the surface is fine and powdery. Ooh, it's not mm. the, it's not the mom thing. I don't think. I don't it, think the it's first one and the last one. Fine and powdery. I think he did say both. Somebody said both of those things. It's there's just too much jubilation to be going into science mode of like fine and powdery. What you just said makes the first thing unlikely. Well, then I'm switching to mom. Then he said, "My mama. Oh, my mama's watching. What was it? I hope she's watching." I sure hope my mama is watching this. I don't know, man. I thought it was going to be think the surface the is powdery, man. You think it's fine and powdery? Because he's like, shouldn't I say something about the surface? Too early for that. The second thing out of his mouth? Okay, mama. We think it's mama. Is that your official answer? No, no, it's fine, fine and powdery. And powdery. <laughs> Learning. The surface is fine and powdery. Yes! Good, good. Thank you, Stevie. Well, okay. I bet his mom was really hurt. You know what? I don't want any <laughs> I don't want any comments in the comment section about, about me helping my boys out. That's I right. just asked them if it was their official answer. They'll be happy. As long mm -hmm. as you don't choose favorites, they're yeah. happy. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, reveal. Today, a small Wendy's Frosty goes for $249. In 1969, how many Wendy's Frosties could you get for $2? Oh, Link, okay, we can do this. 
We can do this because we have a calculator and we have the inflation rate from 1967 and from 1963. Let's figure it out real quick. Just be quiet for one second because I got to think about what we did. Why? So in the first round, it was be quiet. $6. I feel like a contributor. Uh, so it's $6 divided by uh, 70 cents is what they ended up being, right? Equals 8.6 times. So it, it, things had increased by 8.6 in 1973. Keep that, you just keep 8.6 and Chase, you also keep 8.6 because he forgets things. Okay, 8.6 in 1973. And then in 1967, we went from uh, $55 divided by what was 375 equals uh, 14.6. So it was a 14 points. Oh, that's not, this isn't going to work. 18 points. <laughs> it changed that much. We, so it was, did I do this wrong? 10.6 is the number that we're looking for. And what was the original price? What did you now? say? What is your price now? 250. There were 23 cents. All right, but if it, so if it's 25 cents, then that would Hold be. Hold on, why would you say 20? I know, I have a calculator. Four, five, six, seven. I, you don't say. Okay. Hold on, hold on. You don't, don't, don't do anything yet. Too late. Come on. Hold on. How many gotta, did you put on there? 8.6. How many did you put on there? 8.6. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Okay, see how this works. Yeah, we, we, we have three guesses. We have three guesses. I think it should be nine of them. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, okay. Up, so, up, 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 so up. And one of them just fell off, which wasn't cheating, but that does help us. <laughs> that even when that one goes off, didn't make a dent in anything. Yeah, so it's gonna be eight or it's gonna be eight or nine. So take them off. Which is like what, like 20, 20 cents a piece? Yeah, if they're twenty three cents a piece, it would be it would basically be nine. All right, so we're getting rid of these. Six, seven, eight, nine. We have we have an we have an extra guess. Yeah, let's right, go with right, nine. Right, let's right, go right, with go, let's go, go, go with what the math actually tells us, man. The math is telling us it's nine. Here we go. It might be eight. Three, two, one, go. Oh gosh. Come on, come on! Maybe there's Seven. maybe there's only six. Six would be? 33 cents a piece. That's a nice number. 33 and 69. Maybe it was a good year for Frosties. And maybe they just, maybe chocolate was in short supply that year. Here we go. This is our final answer, our final attempt. In three, two, one, go. Dang, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay, we've been foiled. Ah. We've been foiled, Stevie. The answer is five cups because a Wendy's Frosty in 1969 cost 39 cents. That's kind of steep. You know, right from the start, Dave's like, He's ramping up those prices on the frost. Let's think about what we've learned for a second, though. We've learned that different products do not inflate at the same rate because there's other things that influence prices. That's exactly what I was thinking. <sighs> okay, so this is the final round, which means at this point you're just you're just kind of playing for pride. No, <sighs> we hate math. But you know, you know, I like helping you out. So if you can get it exactly right on your first try, I'll let you win the game. Uh -huh. I agree. But because it's fun, anyway, let, let's do the trivia question for that third oh. try. Oh, that's not this. All right, we're ready. What was the number one selling Christmas toy in 1964? 64. Christmas toy, 1964. A, Barbie. B, G.I. Joe. Or C, the game of Operation. 64? I think Barbie was more popular than G.I. Joe. I, I think Barbie was, is, is, is the, I would say it's the answer. Barbie. Incorrect. The answer was G.I. Joe. I oh. couldn't I couldn't give you the official answer thing because I already have given you the You've given the, us too much, yeah. Stevie. Yeah. Okay. You've been what too generous. Here? In 2023, a crunchy taco from Taco Bell costs a dollar seventy-nine. But in 1964, how many Taco Bell tacos could you get for six dollars? Oh, now, okay. You, you want me to start doing the math? No, 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 no. I I think our math me is neither. proven. Our math is proven to be not great, and our guess is about rates of inflation. So I think we should go with our gut. I think I, we count. I love this. We count three, two, one. We say the price that we're we we have in our heads. We take the average. That's our answer. All right. So we're gonna say, the, say the price, price of, of the a taco. taco. All right. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Fifteen Five cents. cents. 
All right. We're so going to go with 10 cents. We're selling on 10 cents a taco. Do you think we're going to put 60 tacos up there? I think we are. Are there even 60 here? Well, let's find out, because I think five cents is too low. Well, help me out. I, I'm building an outer an outer. You think that's important? Container. 46. Yeah, we can't do your answer. 48. And then 50. So 50. if we go, if we just cancel out your answer for a second, I hate to do that to you. Bring in more tacos, guys. Obviously, we're right. So we should, let's do 40, because I'm saying 15 cents. So after all that, we're just using your answer? Because yeah. we ran out? Yeah. Let's just do 40. We didn't even get close. How many are on there? All right. 50. Two. We'll take 10 off. Four, eight, 10. All right. Have it your way. It's not Burger King. This is for the win. This is for that win. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Three, two, one. No! Okay, they were more expensive? Okay, so if they were 20 cents, there'd be 30. It's gotta be like a round number, right? So take 10 off. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Okay, so we're saying they're 20 cents a piece, we're going with 30 total. Yes, we are saying that. Three, two, one. Go, 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 So we're a little bit off. Nope. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Just a little bit. Why don't you leave it there? Oh, no, don't. We need more. I got a map. We need more. Boy. Boy, oh, boy. Yeah. It's a tough team. <laughs> it's a t tough team setup we got today. <laughs> no, no, I was saying. Just leave them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You could, yeah. All I, right. I mean, it just, when, it rain, when it rains, it pours. Okay, we're going to leave this on there. And we're just going to talk. <laughs> so, I mean, we could do one more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 31 is the correct answer. In 1964, all tacos cost 19 cents each. It's not five cents. cents. No, and unfortunately, I'm sorry, you, you did not win, but um, the Mythical Beasts get to watch you blow up an inflatable, inflatable burger and get Mythical more. Great. <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hey, Rhett and Link, I'm James, a trucker, and I'm hanging out in Richmond, Virginia, and I just hung up my new blanket, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. I thought he was here for a second. It's like he's trucking. But he's on our set. Yeah. I love that. Click the top link to watch us discover some fail fast food items in Good Mythical More. And about where the Willamette Mythicality is going. The sport team knows how to save money at the grocery store. Head over to sport.com to read Jordan's secrets for hacking Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. And check out the sports ranking of the best great value foods.